What if we told you that you are a part of a universe you are not aware of? While finding an exact replica of yourself or a loved one living in a totally different world may seem terrifying, it is not impossible because of the concept of parallel or numerous worlds. More proof for the existence of these parallel worlds is nonetheless emerging, despite the fact that some scientists reject the hypothesis as fiction. What are parallel universes and how do they impact you? As we explore how researchers have at last found evidence for the possibility of parallel worlds, we cover all of this and more. Have you ever questioned whether there are any other types of life in the universe? Since the beginning of time, humans have been worried with these issues, but of course, issues like these are the reason why we are human. On the other hand, because some scientists have hypothesized hypothesized that there could be another universe out there existing side by side with ours they go far further than simply asking about alien life some people hold that there might possibly be an infinite number of parallel worlds that are similar to one another. There have undoubtedly been numerous science fiction stories and films throughout the years, but this notion looks to be directly stolen from them. A Princeton University student at the time introduced the contentious theory of parallel worlds or realms that seem precisely similar and are related to our own in 1950 to pique the curiosity of readers and spectators everywhere hug ever at the third while our world diverges from these alternative universes this bold idea suggests that global conflicts may have different results in parallel worlds which has significant practical ramifications animals like dinosaurs may have existed in some parallel worlds or may currently do so and it's possible that humans themselves perished in some of these realities many people have questioned this young scientist and his audacious proposal but the many worlds theory, as it came to be called, was an effort to address certain unresolved issues brought up by the results of experiments carried out in the burgeoning field of quantum physics. The study of phenomena at the quantum level, the lowest scale to far found by science, is known as quantum physics. Quantum matter, which is present at the subatomic level, exhibits chaotic behavior. In contrast to the uniformity seen in many other fields, this observation has led scientists to hypothesize the existence of other scientific rules that we are not yet aware of. For instance, researchers researching quantum meta quickly discover that quantum particles like photons seem to change shapes arbitrarily. Researchers that examine photons have found that they occasionally act like particles and occasionally like waves, similar to how you may act like a trustworthy person one moment and a visitor the next. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle is the name given to this phenomena. While theorizing that people may affect quantum matter's behavior just by watching it, physicist Heisenberg, another physicist agreed with Neil's hypothesis and took it a step further by asserting that quantum particles are simultaneously in all possible states and that our perception of them impacts their behavior, leading them to choose one state at that moment. As an alternative to Bohr's theory of quantum matter, you may consider ever its many worlds. Everett asserts that rather than flipping between, the cosmos actually splits when quantum matter is seen. As a result, for every potential quantum matter state, the world really duplicates and splits into several parallel universes. However, some scientists are concerned about some of the implications of that many worlds idea. Everett's hypothesis proposes that there could be a parallel world where you are if, for instance, you had ever been in a situation where one potential consequence was death. Everett's approach was particularly controversial since it went against how we normally think about time. Everett's notion was dismissed as being unrealistic for a long time. However, when numerous researchers conducted thought experiments that seemed to indicate Everett's thesis is theoretically possible, scientists have recently been interested in it again. It's interesting to note that Everett's theory is not the sole alternative explanation for quantum. According to string theory, 
theory, there may be particles considerably smaller than quantum matter. Parallel worlds are almost probable to be reached if we go away from the main bank using the principles of string theory. How? Remember that the area of the universe to which we have access is limited in time. As far as we are aware, it began with the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. The universe was cooling and departing from that original condition when it was hot, thick, and packed with matter and radiation. As we go further back in space, we eventually find ourselves looking all the way back to the border of the hot huge bangs. But if the cosmos had reached a particular temperature, you couldn't travel back to the arbitrarily early times. But you can't go back to the arbitrary beginnings since the cosmos would have different attributes if its temperature and density had been higher. The hot Big Bang was instead preceded and set up by a period of cosmic inflation which stretched the universe's curvature until it was identical to flatness and then inflated away any problematic unobserved high-energy remnants predicted to form at high temperatures. This theory is supported by observations. As a result, the universe's energy baseline was uniformly distributed throughout and was topped by quantum fluctuations brought on by inflation. There is a chance that the field will roll into the valley where inflation stops while inflation continues, a probability that it won't and inflation will continue, and even a chance that the field will roll the other way, further removing us from inflations. All of these possibilities may coexist in various parts of the expanding cosmos since it creates new space on a regular basis. Inflation comes to an end as the field rolls into the valley, stretching the cosmos farther, and adding new space in certain places. These lead to the formation of hot, massive bangs in the regions that we may call the universe. There is more expanding space located between those worlds, where inflation doesn't end, but rather keeps going. More room is made as the cosmos grows. Now we have a scenario where we always have a multiverse and generate enough inflation to create the hot big bang with the character Characteristics we saw, one in which brand new universes and fiery big bangs keep creating distinct, independent worlds that are inexorably and permanently separated from one another by space. No information can be shared between universes despite the fact that they all originated from the same tiny patch of space since they are not causally related. The notion of parallel worlds has many detractors, including scientists. One of their primary complaints is that it cannot be proven. Nevertheless, an experiment seems to have altered all that. A test for the detection of cosmic rays was conducted, and the results revealed particles that potentially have extraterrestrial origins. Anita, an enormous balloon is used by NASA's anatortic impulsive transient antenna to lift delicate electronic antennas into the chilly, dry air over Antarctica where there is little to no radio noise to skew its measurements. High energy particles are constantly coming from space, some of which are a million times more potent than anything we can create. Neutrinos are low energy particles that may completely pass through the planet without reacting with its constituents. Higher energy objects, however, are brought to a stop by the Earth's solid mass. This indicates that high energy particles can only be observed as they descend from space, but the observation of a tower neutrino, a heavier particle as it rises from the Earth, would imply that high-energy particles are really traveling backward in time. This suggests that a parallel universe exists. While Anita's discovery is remarkable, many scientists have dismissed it, suggesting that something other than parallel worlds was responsible for it. This is hardly unexpected considering that scientists formerly thought our planet was the only one in the solar system. So it's not wise to discount the idea that there are other worlds. How do we know there are parallel universes? We would have some evidence if our universe and another one collided. According to certain theories, colliding universes might leave cold or hot spots on the cosmic microwave. CMB, the Big Bang's afterglow, is the background radiation. If so, those places should be detectable using advanced sky surveys. Gravitational waves, which are ripplings in space-time, might potentially offer proof for the existence of cosmos. I, according to the notion, several telescopes are currently aggressively searching for small curls in the CMB, 
that might have been caused by gravitational waves that were left over from the Big Bang. If scientists are able to find the same curls in the CMB that they believed to be there in 2014, it may strengthen the case for the existence of an extraterrestrial U. Parallel worlds, however, are connected to two other mysterious and terrible cosmic phenomena, both white and black holes. Black holes are those terrifying cosmic creatures that eat anything that approaches them. They are created when massive stars collide with one another, generating enormously dense bodies with gravitational fields so strong that not even light can escape their gravitational pool. White holes are the reverse of black holes in that nothing can enter them while everything is forced out. There are several theories as to how white holes form, which we won't get into in this video, but how are the three related to one another? In essence, each white hole may trigger other big bangs that create numerous universes within or beyond of its radius or borders, each with its own unique set of physical rules. Time may not be positive and unidirectional, or reality may be made of antimatter. These universes are probably reflections of our own. Quantum superposition is demonstrated by numerous histories based on distinctive quantum states coming to life. In the comments box, share your thoughts about parallel worlds.